Hey everybody, Aaron Bell here for Sports Talk For You. We are officially out of the pause for the talk show. We are now getting back to making shows. I want to get started with a big, big win from Wichita State on Thursday night against the Houston Cougars, number six in the nation. The first win for Wichita State at home against the top six team since 1967 when they beat number two Louisville in that year. This was a huge win for Wichita State. I mean, they had to have this win. They are now on the bubble officially. I mean, 13-4, and four, Isaac Brown, interim head coach. I think it's time to take the interim off of that and just make him the head coach. I mean, I understand Boatwright wants to wait till the end of the season, maybe interview some more guys. But right now, Isaac Brown has shown that he has made his case to be the next head coach. These guys love him. They are out there playing relaxed when they get down by 12, 13 points. They don't panic. They don't get down on themselves. You know, I've just I've noticed this year these guys are so much more relaxed than when Greg Marshall was here. I mean, is that something that we want to look at? Maybe Marshall just was too tense of a coach, was too hard. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that speculation. All I'm saying is Isaac Brown has done a hell of a job. Like Mark Adams said Thursday night, he is in the running for AAC Coach of the Year with Kelvin Sampson. I think Isaac Brown should get it over Kelvin because Kelvin has all the talent in the world. He's been the head coach. Isaac Brown came into a shithole, excuse my language, came into a crap hole beginning of the season. He, he had one week to prepare because Greg Marshall got fired, and then bam, the games happened. You know, Isaac Brown has done a hell of a job with this team. I mean, the inside game has not been the greatest, but he's found a way to win games. Rebounding's been terrible, but he's found a way to win games, whether it's three-point shooting, whether it's defense. And Dexter Dennis finally starting to hit three-pointers has been really great for this team because when he gets going, Alterique Gilbert has been hitting shots lately. When those two, those two guys get on fire along with Etienne, watch out. This is going to be a deadly team, and if they can win out or maybe – beat SMU on the road, just win two of three, two of their three last road games. We don't know if they're going to make up the game for Memphis yet, but this team is coming along. They are dangerous right now. Nobody wants to play Wichita State. AAC coaches have said that. They're scared to play us. Isaac Brown has this team playing at the best. <laughs> now the other night, Morrissey Daisy, four points. He only took one shot, and people look at that. They go, well, that's not a very good inside game. He blocked four shots, and a lot of those, two of those shots were huge blocks when Wichita State was down and had to get back in the game. So, you, you know, if our inside guys don't score, but we're still winning games because of their defense, that's still a beast inside. That's still an inside game because you're playing defense and holding these other big guys on the other teams, you know, to underneath their scoring average. I mean, it's just what it is, and... If Isaac Brown wins games like that, so be it. Now, when we get to the tur if we get to the NCAA tournament and we face a big team with two or three big guys, will we be in trouble? Speculate yes, but you never know. I mean, this team's finding ways to win games when really they shouldn't be. And they out-rebounded a Houston team that is number one in the nation in offensive rebounding. And Wichita State matched their offensive rebounds. I think it was 15 apiece, if I believe. Um... At the end, another good night, 16 points. Out to Rick Gilbert, 16 points. I believe Dexter Dennis had 10 points, hit two or three big threes for Wichita State. And let's not forget the huge steal. Wichita State up one with about, I believe it was 12 seconds left. Etienne misses the one and one free throw. Houston gets the rebound. You think they're going to come down and score. Dexter Dennis reads the pass, steals it, goes down. A flagrant two was called on Gorham for Houston, so he got ejected, and then Dennis hits the two free throws. Wichita State goes on to win 68-63. So this has been a hell of a job. I don't know how many times I've said that in this show right now, but it's been a hell of a job for Isaac Brown. He's done what he needs to. The team is so relaxed. They're having so much fun out there. Even Jaden Seymour and Chauncey Jenkins, who don't play at all or maybe play 30 seconds a game, those guys are having fun because this – this is not a me, me, me team like it was last year for Wichita State. This is a team that cares about their team. The guys that aren't starting, they don't care. Ricky Council has been sensational off of the bench for Wichita State. 
I saw a stat last night that John Rothstein posted on Twitter. When Council averages 15 minutes a game, when Council plays more than 15 minutes each game, he's averaging 10 points in those games. This guy is coming off the bench, giving us good minutes. Poor Bear Chandler. He hasn't played much because his grandfather's death. I understand he's still trying to get through that and grieve that, and that's going to take time. I mean, we understand how Dexter Dennis was last year when his best friend died. You know, those guys, it'll take time. But poor Bear came in, gave us good minutes, had two fouls in nine minutes, but we all know how the refs were the other night. But this is an exciting team right now. Just when you think they're going to get blown out by 20 against Houston the other night, they fight back, get it within one at halftime, come out, get up by 10, and they never look back after that. This is an exciting Wichita State team. Guys, I beg you fans to just keep the faith. Isaac Brown will be a good coach. I know a lot of you on Shocker Unfiltered on Facebook are disagreeing with that, saying maybe they need to try some other stuff, but I have come to the conclusion that Isaac Brown might be the man. The offense can be kind of slow sometimes, but he still finds a way to get these guys open shots, get these guys points, and hey, if it is what it is, hire the guy. We never know. Maybe Billy Kennedy, Billy Kennedy was hired on as an assistant, maybe to take over the job, but we, we just don't know. It's up to Darren Boatwright, and it's up to Wichita State on who they hire. So, again, Shockers, huge win Thursday night against number six ranked Houston, 68-63. This weekend's game was canceled due to COVID issues with the other with us or with the other team again. Makeup, there, there's no makeup. By now, if there's no makeup, there's no makeup. So next game is next Thursday against SMU. That is a huge game for Wichita State. They play them here, and then next Sunday they go to SMU. So back to back games against SMU. Two wins right there. If they win both of those, Wichita State pretty darn good shape as long as they close out the rest of the season against the other teams so again i'm back with making our shows my buddy adam parker and armand ely they will join me for the other shows coming up in the future next week if you're a shocker fan you guys know barry hansen we are going to get barry hansen on the show former coach at missouri state at siu he is now the assistant oklahoma state a lot of shocker fans kind of don't like him but then a lot of shocker fans love the guy he's not the greatest coach in the world but he's a hell of a man to talk to and a hell of a man to speak with and i'm really excited to have this guy on our show next week so if you're a wichita state fan college basketball fan please hit that subscribe button i know we've lost a couple of subscribers because we were on pause didn't have a show for about a month but now we are back please help us out tell people about our show get us subscribers and we are hoping to become better at what we do Again, thank you. Go Shocks. See you next time.